lesson for today is about subtraction across zeros. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to use base 10 blocks to subtract numbers with zeros by regrouping in hundreds, tens, and ones. Subtract from three-digit numbers with zeros by regrouping in hundreds, tens, and ones. Apply the inverse operations of addition and subtraction. Let's recall. What is 824 minus 568? The correct answer is Let us check the answer by working backwards. We just need to add the difference to each subtrahend. 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. Carry 1. 1 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to 12. Carry 1. 1 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 8. Therefore, the answer is correct. Let's discuss. Subtract 18 from 200. Let us use a place value chart and base 10 block. Let us show the base 10 blocks for the greater number, which is 200. 200 has 200. Zero tens, zero ones. We will then subtract 18 to this set of base 10 blocks. 18 has 1 ten, 8 ones. Subtract 8 ones from zero ones. Since there are zero ones and zero tens, let us regroup the hundreds and tens. Let us regroup. 100 into 10 tens. Since there are zero ones, let us regroup the tens and ones. Let us regroup one ten into ten ones. Subtract 8 ones from 10 ones. Subtract 1 ten from 9 tens. Therefore, when we subtract 18 from 200, 182 will be left. Let us subtract the numbers again in vertical form. Make sure that the numbers are aligned correctly before subtracting. Let us subtract from right to left. Subtract the ones. Since there are zero ones and zero tens, let us regroup the hundreds and tens. Let us take 100 from 200. Then we will regroup 100 into 10 tens. Since there are zero ones, let us regroup the tens and ones. Let us take 110 from 10 tens. Then we will regroup 110 into 10 ones. 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. Subtract the 10s. 9 minus 1 
is equal to 8. Bring down 1. So, 200 minus 18 is equal to 182. We can also check if the answer is correct by working backwards. We just need to add the difference to each subtrahend. 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. Carry 1. 1 plus 8 plus 1 is equal to 10. Carry 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. It's quiz time! Subtract 267 from 500. Five hundred minus two hundred and sixty seven is equal to subtract three hundred and eight from six hundred. Minus three hundred and eight is equal to subtract four hundred and two from seven hundred. Seven hundred minus four hundred and two is equal to subtract seven hundred and eighty nine from nine hundred. Nine hundred minus seven hundred and eighty nine is equal to subtract four hundred and fifty six from eight hundred. 800 minus 456 is equal to Awesome kids! You've done a great job! For more practice, click the link in the description box below. That's all for today kids! Always remember, it's okay not to know, but it's not okay to not try. Keep on learning. Bye!